everyone, Moon here, and welcome back to another Monday Moments with Moon. For today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some thoughts on the topic Well, uh, me and the boys play some Bed Wars, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So, as I mentioned last week, today I want to share with you guys some of my thoughts on the destruction of statues and the conversations that have been occurring about certain historical figures. Now, most of these statues and negativity have been directed towards the Civil War and historical figures' involvement in slavery. Now, I want to make it clear, I am very much aware that many of the Founding Fathers owned slaves, and honestly, I find myself disappointed with the school system for not making that stuff known to students. I feel a lot of anger people are feeling around these figures wouldn't exist if children were taught to respect those of the past will be made aware that these figures were human, and therefore very much imperfect. All that being said, I don't think we should try to erase these figures' impact on the world, just because they've made mistakes. If that was the case, then we should just erase the entire world, because in no time during history was everything going perfectly and people being sinless. And as much as we might desire that world, as long as sin exists, it can never happen. So what do we do? Well, we shouldn't protest against things we can't change. We can't change the Civil War, we can't change the horrible things done to slaves, and we most certainly can't change the choices made by people in the past. Nor should we. The past is something we should learn from, and that especially goes from the people. But we don't have to just learn from the bad stuff. We can and should learn from the good stuff too. George Washington owned slaves, but he also led America to its independence, and was such a man to turn down the chance to become a king. What I'm trying to say is that instead of trying to protest against the past, we should be focused on learning from it and about it. We also need to make sure we understand the bigger picture. Read the history books. Put yourself into the shoes of those who committed the wrongs. While it doesn't excuse what they did, it can help us better understand it. And once again, it'll help us learn. The Civil War is one such thing that I feel many people are undereducated about, and because of that, they condemn anyone who fought on the Confederate side or deemed all who waved the flag pro-slavery and racist. But the reality is, slavery was one only one piece of many in that war. It might have been the biggest piece, but it wasn't even the one that started it. The South separated from the North because it believed the North was being like England, was to its colonists that they were abusing them and putting laws down that harmed them while helping the North. Meanwhile, the North felt the South was crushing their rights to free speech and was removing power from the common man and putting it in the hands of the elite. Slaves and slavery was just a part of this. I feel it's wrong to condemn every person who took part on the Southern side without first knowing why they fought on that side. Take General Robert E. Lee, for example. The man was against slavery and wanted it abolished and he didn't own any slaves of his own. The reason why he fought against the North was because he believed how the North was treating the South and handling the abolishment of slavery was wrong and would just end damage the Southern economy. And to his credit, he wasn't wrong. I personally would never represent the Confederate flag, but the reality is many people own one for historical reasons or to honor a family member who fought or because they associate with the South being abused by the Northmen's vow and the South held, that the South held, and not with the idea that Blacks should have never been free. Though people like that do exist, and that deeply saddens me. But even then, I don't feel hostility is ever the answer. Education is. If that doesn't work, then just ignore the people. People can only bully people if we get them the stage to do so. At the end of the day, history is a subject about studying both the successes and the mistakes. In order to learn everything we can through history, we need to make ourselves aware of both sides. Also, both people and circumstances are complicated. There is never a pure good versus evil situation, and we should never view things as such. Sin exists and people make mistakes, but who are we to condemn people for their mistakes? when we are so full of our own? And why undermine the good things people did by purely focusing on the bad? To sum it all up, I guess this is my argument against the destruction of these historical statues and monuments. If you disagree with one of these monuments, then learn something from it. Have it called to be modified so the monument represents both sides. 
but don't violently tear it down. Because at the end of the day, how do you want history to look back on us? As people who learned and respected the past, always being aware of the full picture? Or as people moved to violence and destruction because they didn't like something they heard? So yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I also hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!